The following is a paid advertisement of Lame Take Studios. Feel like your statue doesn't really tell a great story? Ever looked at your statue and wondered what it was lacking, why it doesn't have that certain pizzazz? Wow. Introducing Lame Take Studios' new add-on expansion kit. Now you can impress your friends and family. Now you can finally tell the story of your piece the way the big guy upstairs intended it to be. No way! That's awesome! That's right. Now you can add the magic of this limited edition fire hydrant to your tired and boring pieces. Order today and turn your piece from fail to grail. I recently saw this lame custom and it didn't even have a fire hydrant. Now I've got two. Thanks, lame take. But wait, there's more. Oh my gosh. Order today and we will throw in this amazing exclusive stoplight at no extra charge. Never again will you be embarrassed explaining the setting of your favorite statue. I get this statue and it's amazing, it's got some cool pieces, but where even are they? The mall? <laughs> and then we get these props. They're incredible. We know where they are, they're on a street. It's been life changing. It's a grail now. Thank you so much, Lame Take. I heard so many good things about this thing and I bought it and it's not worth a sh And I cannot tell if it's on the earth or on the moon. Now I know they were on the street. Thanks, Lame Take. Now my statue kicks ass. Operators are standing by now. Don't miss out on this incredible offer for not one, but two amazing limited edition collectibles. Just five easy payments of $29.95, and they are yours. Hurry while supplies last. We expect these to sell out within the next decade. Minor recast. Welcome back, long time no see. Uh, taking a little bit of a break, uh, a lot of personal stuff happening. Uh, wife had shoulder surgery, which is a major ordeal if you've ever gone through it. Uh, pups have been sick, just a lot of stuff uh, calling for my attention in personal life, but uh, let's get back at it. Today we have a custom Wolverine. This is a concept art by Alex Ross, and this um, custom, uh, Commissioner is the first piece that I've gotten for him. So I was really curious to see, you know, loved everything that I saw on online, but uh, just curious to see if does it live up to the quality and all that I think it was, and uh, we'll see. So um, full disclosure here. Um, so with this piece, I got it at a price I could not pass up because I have helped this commissioner. Uh, we became online friends. Um, it was a Photoshop work he asked me to do at one point. And um, from there, I've gotten into, I designed this box. So um, pretty cool to, to do, um, you know, to see something that you, you know, simple design, but uh, still something pretty cool to see it fleshed out. I also, and I'll show in a minute, I did the bottom of the uh, base graphic for him. And I've been doing that for his statue. So uh, just full disclosure that, uh, I'm biased. So, <laughs> all right, let's unbox it. Classic two strap design. Here to be well packaged. All right. With the first layer, we have Wolverine himself.
Very nice. Second layer, we have the base. Oh, it has a uh, kind of wood uh, texture to it. That's cool. Very heavy, very solid. We have an X on this side. And we have the number 2000. So I'll tell you the story of that in just one second. But uh, simple base, but very elegantly done. We have got Wolverine's cigar hand. Nicely painted, that's the way you paint a cigar. Looks like ash. Everybody wants to put red on them, but uh, that is not accurate to a stagnant, to a still uh, cigar that is not being puffed. Uh, that's what it looks like. Good job. We have one clawed hand that has just the single blade, which would be his pointy finger. Would have been funnier to have it as the middle, but uh, anyway, looks excellent. That is heavy. That is metal. Pretty sure. Feels metal. And it's cooler than the resin here, so that could be the chrome, but uh, feels like it's metal. Cool. And then the other two very shiny. Um, I'm going to assume they're chromed. I'm not, uh, need to ask the commission that, but I don't know. Yeah, pretty sure they're metal. But uh, one thing is, uh, if these are chromed, it's uh, very easy to show imperfections uh, in the paint, and uh, these look very good. A little bit of waving, but uh, excellent. The uh, sculpting on the gloves and leather is all. Very nice. And that is it. So, moving on, this is going quick. <laughs> so of course it's a museum pose, which is not my usual uh, preference, but uh, it'll be cool to have one in my collection. So, uh, and I really like the design of this costume. So let's move on. So again, I did this uh, Photoshop graphic, you know, to the base design here, here for it. So, uh, small contribution, but it's absolutely cool to see, you know, my small hand in it, uh, physically in your hand. So I can only imagine how these sculptors and commissioners and, uh, digital artists, you know, feel when they actually see their pieces fleshed out. It's gotta be a extremely cool feeling and, uh, can understand the pride that they take in their work. And, um, so anyway, pretty cool. Can probably do assembly live here. I don't have to do my time lapse. Let's put the art version together first, which is this. All right, you will note that the X is over here. So if you square him to the camera, that is wrong. That is not the way that he displays. You're supposed to display this X forward. And why is that? Hang on. So we have two art prints that came with it. And as you can see, this is the pose. So he's supposed to be 45 degree away from you. That's the way you're supposed to display him. So this is off center on purpose. You send that X out and there we go. So cool. And then we have a black and white version of the same. Very cool. Nicely done. Single claw is interesting. Um, not sure if I'll display in that way. I'll probably do it with the three, but uh, very cool. To me, the entire attitude of the piece is the cigar. Love it. So uh, again, with the artwork, uh, I'll show uh, Alex Ross's um, artwork. And it's Alex Ross, not Bob Ross. Uh, you can see my Bob Ross skit here which only 300 people have seen. So please go watch that. Most people find it funny. So uh, check that out. But uh, Alex Ross submitted this in 
2000 to Marvel as a concept to use for Wolverine, and they rejected it. They did not use it. They went with something else, uh, which is lesser in the Commissioner and myself's opinion, but uh, that's them. So, uh, so I'd also like to show you a few of the early renders of this. Uh, we're grayscale at the time here, and uh, you can see you know, the uh, definite promise in this piece even from this early on. And voila, we end up with this. So uh, let me real quick go to the swap out of the other claws that you can do. So other options, you can take the single claw, of course, and go to the three. I believe that's my favorite look. Uh, I just like it. And then you can also remove the cigar, which to me is, don't think so, but uh, there we go. So you get an entirely different look to go that way. But let's stick with this guy. And the commish likes this look, so I will honor that and we will go with that, him for the display. So again, the uh, concept here is very simplistic museum pose, but uh, whenever it's so simple of a design or straightforward a design, in my opinion, you have to do exceptionally well to be something interesting. And I find this interesting because his expression and the cigar to me makes everything. It's just the attitude, you know, that uh, it projects Wolverine uh, Logan's, you know, toughness and his, you know, I ain't taking any bull BS uh, attitude. So uh, that emotes to me from the piece. So let's start with the base. The base is very simple, but uh, elegant would be the word I'd use. Uh, assuming that this is paint, uh, but it makes it look like wood there. The uh, silver highlights make it very, um, don't want to say trophy because that's a bad connotation, but uh, just a museum base. It's a, it's a museum piece base there. Uh, again, with the touches of the 2000, the date that uh, Alex submitted this, that the uh, concept uh, was done, and um, then, of course, the X for X-Men. All right, so let's move on to his costume design. Uh, the boots are incorporated into the costume. There's no seam there, so they're, you know, it's a one-piece outfit. He's got a onesie on. It's not a onesie. So, uh, but what I do like and find interesting is the texturing here. Uh, it's a very leatherish looking texture. Uh, it's not overdone. The outfit has excellent, where it looks like it's actually stitched and sewn into. Uh, the outfit, again, continues the same leathery look. And then they used a separate texture in the yellow parts. I'm rubbing his booty. Um, the, uh, Texture in the yellow parts there is an entirely different texture, which gives it a nice contrast there. Uh, his musculature is excellently done, not ridiculously over buff, you know, which some ways that Wolverine was drawn was extremely stocky, extremely um, over muscled, but uh, this is more of a humanistic uh, human, human, humanoid, humanoid uh, take on it and uh, I like it. So uh, very cool with the gloves here. The ability to hide the seams there is excellent. It's very natural looking. So the seam makes sense. Uh, again, the uh, gloves have a slightly slicker texture. So again, that gives the definition there. Muscles in the arms are fantastic. The way that the uh, cloth you know, bunches around here is uh, superb. The uh, cow piece is a little bit smaller, but it's accurate again to Alex's uh, design there. Face sculpt, excellent, excellent. Very well pulled off. I uh, like the whited out eyes. Um, the expression is just smug, you know. Uh, again, he, he's not taking any crap off anybody. Uh, love the very practical design of the zipper here down the face of it, you know, with the X-Men logo. Uh, very practical looking that that's the way that you would design a costume actually so uh, again with the uh, head sculpt there is no swap out so there's no seam here that's a big plus uh, if you do one head sculpt and do it right hey thumbs up so what are my overall thoughts on the piece does it live up to expectations yes it does 
That does not mean it was not without a few issues. Um, when it arrived, we had a little bit too much gloss in the skin of the uh, face here, but I was able to, with an ultra matte um, sealer uh, at the advice of another painter, was actually able to, to cut that sheen with it with about three or four coats. And I'll show you the video here of demonstration of me doing that. Uh, so, you know, that was one small thing I'll, I'm going to say is a learning curve and, you know, in early pieces here. Other than that, exceptional work. I'm very, very pleased with this uh, first in-hand product from this commissioner. Uh, guys become a friend, so I'm glad it turned out well and I didn't have to say yuck, but uh, thumbs up, major thumbs up. Um, buy from this commissioner with confidence. He has several pieces that are either in concept right now or purchase order right now and i will show you a display of those now these first three pieces i have ordered with him hawkeye and the scarlet witch are both on the ultron sentry base which will match my other avengers really looking forward to them this Dark Surfer just looks so outstanding. I could not pass on it. Uh, absolutely love the uh, base on it. He specializes in more obscure characters, although U.S. Agent has recently risen in popularity with the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Rhino, outstanding. This Jubilee caused a lot of buzz whenever it was uh, the renders were debuted there. Fantastic. Tigra just looks amazing. And this rendition of Thor is uh, very, very cool. So if anything in there grabs your eye, uh, PM me at uh, my Facebook site, half Ass Reviews, and I can put you in touch with the commissioner uh, if you're interested in any of those. Uh, some exceptional looking pieces. Uh, actually had some input on that Rhino, uh, so... Uh, Really, really want to see that guy move forward, but uh, really want to see him succeed in general. So uh, if anything grabbed your eye, shoot me a PM and I will get you in touch with them. So huge thumbs up to the Alex Ross concept suit here. Um, he's actually going to do a whole series of these uh, Wolverines uh, eventually too. So you would kind of have a uh, series of them if you so choose to. Um, I have... A couple of other pieces, at least. The Hawkeye will be the next to arrive. Really looking forward to him. It's been a long time coming, but uh, he's getting it right. He's a stickler for detail, so, uh, and I see that here. So, again, thanks for joining me. Please hit that like, sub, notification bell, and until next time, if you're not doing it half-assed, you ain't doing it right. Y'all take care.